All right, welcome back to the planet of Helios. Let's help these crazy elf people build even nicer homes for themselves, shall we? Okie doke. So, starting with the second round, Jen is the first player, and she has to choose the red building or landscape or the blue sun tile. And she would love to grab this blue because she knows how much I want it because it'll give me that four of a kind bonus. But if she takes this, right now she can only move the sun two spaces. She'll go one, two, and it'll get her nothing, absolutely nothing, because there's already a cube on this space, so a second one cannot be put there. So it would be hugely wasteful of Jen to take that just to block me. So, because sooner or later I'll, I'll probably end up grabbing this blue or this blue, so I'll get the bonus anyway. So I don't think she's going to go for that. I think instead... Hmm, actually, I think instead she's going to go... She's going to start working on trying to get a red majority. She's going to grab this red building. Is she? Yes, she is. All right. And she's going to build. Now she could build another uh, temple. You should go like build it right here. And remember, if she does it, it would only cost her one cube instead of two. And then every time this temple, the sun lands next to it, it would score one, two, three points. But she's not going to do that right now. She's going to wait on her temple a little bit. Instead, she's going to build over here. Yeah, she's going to build over here into this building, which requires a brown and a white, which means any color. So this will score her two points. She has to use her brown, and she'll use this as the wild card. And now, the benefit of this building, in addition to the two points in the, the game, is she immediately gets to build two more terrain tiles. Although it's random, she doesn't know what she's gonna get. She has to take them out of the uh, bonus stack, so she'll grab these two, whatever they might be. And what does she get? She gets a gray and a brown, all right. I see, and she could, she could build these anywhere following the normal building rules. So, let's say if she builds like right here, and that brown goes on there, and she gets another cube of her choice for filling that space. Let's see here. So, what cube would she take? Well, let's come back to that second, see what cube she takes in a second. Now, where is she gonna put this other one? Now, the interesting thing is, you know, if she puts it over here, then she'll get four points at the end of the game for having put something in this space. But here's the interesting thing. If, you know, if Jen's thinking about how she wants to build, if she doesn't put a thing here and instead um, leaves this space open, if she puts a temple, if, if later on she puts a temple here, this temple, every time it fires, will score one, two, three, four points. So when Jen get, lands the sun here, she'd score four points. Here, four points. Here, five points, and then four points. So Jen could build herself literally a sun point generating engine if she could speed her sun up a bit because she'd start scoring points off of this thing. So that's a reason to actually leave this space empty because if she goes on ahead and what was it she was going to build? Uh, it was a gray. If she puts this here, it's worth four points. But now this is one less place she could stop on her sun route to hit this temple. Not that she's even built this temple yet, mind, but that is something to think about. You know, and alternatively, if she like builds it over here, she doesn't get any points for building on this spot, but she could start building over towards this so she could get some more, what do you call them, the uh, mana stone so she could recruit another follower at the end of this round. So that makes sense for her too. And plus, don't forget, she's also going to get another cube of her choice. You know, and plus, by building here, this creates another little, nice little pocket there when she stops here. If she gets a temple here, then these two temples in this spot, both of these temples will activate, and it'll be a huge point thing for her. So I think she likes the idea of that. Let's go with that. Okay. Okie doke. So, um, although I, oh, does, does that count as a dead end? There is this rule about not being able to build dead end alleys because the sun will not go down a dead end. But I don't think, I think this is fine because the sun can come around, can come in here, but it wouldn't be able to go any deeper. So I think that's totally cool. So she's going to build like that with the intention of building another temple here because her temples are cheaper so she can start making, but then she really needs to speed up this. All right, okay. And so knowing she needs to speed up her sun so she can go faster, I think the bonus cube she got for building in this spot will be a black because then that means she can build this building that increases her sun speed by three. And then she goes one, two, three, four, you know, and, and so yeah, she could get into those spots really, really quick. So that was Jen's first move. She built a building that let her build two more things. And now it's my turn for my first move. And she left it for me, so you know I'm gonna take it while I can. And boom, I'm gonna move the sun and then I get a bonus because I've got my four blues. So first of all, I get to move the sun. I can move up to eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom! 
and I can score five points. I can make it all the way around. But here's the problem. If I stop here, I will only get one cube income. You know, if I stopped over here, I'd get two. If I stopped over here, I'd get two cubes. But then it would take longer. Now I'm, I'm gonna go the whole nine yards. And so I'm gonna score five points. I have to put five points in my little secret stash. Right there, there we go. And, uh, you know, the sun is next to this tile, so I just get one cube back. All right, so that was that. Oh, but now I get a bonus action because of my four of a kind over here. So what do I wanna do now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could do another sun action and get the sun over here, so I'd be close to getting five points again, and, well, but see, now that's kind of a bummer. I mean, I could make the sun action and just get to here so I could get those two cubes, and then the next time I do a sun action, I'll make it around again. And look, the next sun action is an orange, which I could start working on getting an orange majority. Nice. So I could do another sun action. I could do another build action and get another tile on the board. Um, or... I could do another landscape action. Uh, all right, because remember, I do want to get, I see, I do, I definitely want to get her and I want to get my speed up so that I can get the most points out of her. Because you know, if I get my speed all the way up to 14, she's 28 points for grabbing her. So, if I want to get my speed up, I've already taken that one. There's this one that only requires, hey, look at that, one gray cube. I could build this building. Oh, yeah, what the heck, let's go do that. My next action is, my further free action, I'm going to take this cube I just earned, and I will build, and I will get this building, which gives me one point, and increases one, two. Now my sun moves ten spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every time I do the sun, I can get another five points. Wow. Cool, cool, cool. All righty. So, that was my bonus action. Now it's Jen's turn again. This is the second action of the round for her. Right, and right. since she's got red, she wants to start collecting reds. But you know what? Hey, look, a wild card is here, so she's going to build a building now. Yes. And she'll declare it's red so that she can get two more reds. She gets another bonus action. Now she's going to build a building. And I think now she's going to build that other temple she wanted to build. And now normally it would require two, because it's her second temple, it would require two cubes, but because of her special power, it only requires one. Which cube is she going to give up? Um, let's see. Not the black, because she's saving that for that building. And what's that gray get her? Can't really build anything specific. Oh, no. Gray, oh, gray could get... Oh, yeah, she can use this brown. All right, so she uses the brown, and she's got her second temple out. And now, every time you get a temple, you get another mana stone, too. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Jen got, it's her second double, so she gets two mana stones. So now she's saving up so she can buy another helper at the end of the, of the second round. Okay, so that was Jen's move, right? And she's starting to work on another majority, so that's cool. Back to me, back to my second move now. And I'm tempted to grab this because, hey, look, it's orange, and it's a sun, and I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How can you just turn that down? Five points, boom, just like that. Pretty nice. Okay, so I'll just take five points. Alrighty. And I generate for myself, oops, another gray. Okay. So, um, Jen's next turn, her third turn. See, she wants to grab a red, of course. So she could grab this red sun. Um, but she'd only get to move two spaces because she hasn't sped up yet. One, two, three, four. She really wants to be able to move four spaces. Here's the interesting thing. If she grabs this right over here, she could build into this space so she can get two more stones so she could hire a, you know, maybe two more guys. So that's pretty cool too. Or she could build. She could take this. But the last build is a blue action, which doesn't really benefit either of us, unfortunately. But if she builds a building, she could get her speed up so that when she does the sun, she'll, get, she'll be able to activate her stuff quicker. Those are all valid choices. She only has two more actions, though, before this round is over. And if she grabs this and this, that's kind of hard to say no. I think she is. She's going to try and guarantee. All right, so she's going to grab this before it's gone because she knows if, I, if she leaves it, I'll grab it because I'll just keep on doing more sun stuff and getting points. And plus, she wants the red. So she'll grab this. So she gets to do the sun action. Uh, sun can only move two spaces. So it goes one, two. And it, so unfortunately, it's only next to this brown. But hey. At least she generated a brown cube. She might need that later. Okay, so now it's my turn. All right, and she's left another sun for, oh, by doing that, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That was actually a bad move for Jen because then she's exposed this orange, which is definitely what I want. 
So she doesn't want to do that. She's not going to do that. Hold on. Let's go back. One, two. She's going to start building some more red landscape. All right. So she grabs the red landscape. And so what's she going to do? Now, <clears throat> so far, she's only been, we've only been grabbing these ones that generate goods. But we can grab these that are worth points as well. Like Jen, it'd be very tempting for Jen to grab one of these. This guy is worth one point at the end of the game for every empty tile next to him. So Jen puts this right here, let's say. At the end of the game, this is worth one, two, three, four, five points for that tile. And so Jen, is get, by doing this, Jen's, it, now that's provided she doesn't build next to it anymore. She kind of leaves it out at the end of that peninsula. Although putting this here makes it that much slower for the, for the, you know, that's that much longer the sun has to go before it makes it all the way around. If Jen put it, oh, if Jen put it here, she'd get an extra cube. And there's an interesting thing. When the sun eventually comes around like this, it cannot go into this dead end, so it will skip around like that. Maybe that's the better way to go, because Jen will get another cube, and um, it, you know, the, the sun's path, She'll still have a better chance. Oh, but if she does that, then she can't get into this space. She does, no, she definitely wants to be able to get in this space to activate both of these. All right, okay. So, but that's if she builds that. Now, oh, she could build this instead. Now, this gives her four points for every temple that's next to this. If she put this right here, this would be worth eight points. And now, she wouldn't be getting a lot of points for moving the sun into this space. But still, that's pretty darn cool. That's pretty tempting. It's too bad the sun's right here. She could build it right here and get the eight points there, but she cannot build on top of the sun, and she hasn't moved the sun away yet. Now, this one is just worth two points for every tile that's next to it and itself, and this one is worth two points for every cube that is on or next to this at the end of the game. Or does she just want to build and, and get some more goods? I mean, right now, she's generating a fair amount of goods. Uh, gosh. But it would be good to generate some green. If she doesn't generate some green, she'll never be able to get this building, which is hugely important. You gotta get this building so you can get a bonus action before the game is up. Well, you don't have to, but you know, it increases the speed of your sun, gives you another sun gem, and gives you a bonus action. So that's a huge one. I think for now, she will just go on ahead and grab a green. And she'll go on ahead and she'll slap it down here. And that gave her two more mana stones. So now she's got four. Now she could buy the big kahuna if she wants. Okay, so that was her third action. Now it's time for my third action. And the sun is not exposed. But I'm almost tempted just to grab this sun anyway because it's one red that Jen would want. But if I do that, then chances are Jen will grab the orange that I really want. So, because if I, oh, no, but I need two more oranges. I need both of those. But if I take this, then Jen will grab that one. If I take this, Jen will grab that one. So I guess I'll just go on ahead and I'll build a building in the meantime. And hopefully this blue will pay off later. Now, what can I build? Actually, can I build much? All I've got is one gray cube. Yeah, I can't build diddly or squat, so I'm not going to take that either. That's not a good time. I mean, the only thing I'd be able to build would be a temple on that spot, which would be interesting. Well, you know, because I keep just doing this rotation around and making the points. If there were a temple here, I would score two bonus points every time I do the circuit as well. Here's the real problem, though. Um, if I had built this building, every time I do the circuit, I'd make 10 points instead of 5. What do I need for that? I need a black and a blue. So if I don't do a full circuit, if I just go like this, I'll get the black and the blue, then I could build this building, and then I could just keep doing circuits and scoring 10 points around. That seems pretty, t pretty cool. Let's do that. I'm going to take this red, because I know Jen likes it, and I'm not going to do the full circuit. I'm just going to go that far to get a black and a blue back. Bink, bink. Oops, there we go. All right. And now it's Jen's turn, and I didn't... Oh. Oh, should I have taken this, though? Because if I leave this, it's a red for Jen. Ah, hold on a second. So if I put this back, 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 back. I haven't done this yet. Right, no, but if, if, I, if I don't take this, then Jen will just do the sun anyway. She'll get the red either way. There's no way I can help it. So yeah, I might as well do this. All right, and so I get my black and my blue. Boop, boop. All right. And that was that. And now Jen, she'll go on ahead and grab her fourth. So this is her second bonus action she's going to get to do. But first, she has to build more terrain. And I think this time she will do one of these peninsula guys. There's only two of them in the game. So if you want to grab them, you got to grab them quick because they go fast. She'll go on ahead and build right here. No, again, if she builds there, she can't get the sun into that space. Maybe that's just going to be too tough to do. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sun movements to get over there. That's really tough to do. She could build this over here instead, and it'll still get its full points for like the, the full circle. So that's not bad. Yeah, let's she's gonna go with that. All right, and um, now the sun has to go around, you know, a, farther, a bit farther north. Okay, so, and now because she's gotten four reds, she gets her second bonus action of the game. And what's it gonna be? Now this is the last action she's gonna get to do this round. And then after this, we're gonna go to buying guys again. Now, she could afford to get a guy She's already paid, now, she's got to be thinking about, it. she could get two guys. What cubes does she have? Could she, um, could any of these be turned to her? Like, getting this one, which uh, makes every special tile worth five points, that means this is already worth five. If she gets this guy, it'll be worth ten. If she gets more tiles, I think she wants to definitely grab this guy. She'll need a black, a gray. She has both of those. So she has the cubes for this. So she's going to recruit this guy. Is she going to recruit somebody else? Um, oh, this guy, because this, yeah, she wants to recruit both of these guys, and she needs a blue and a gray. So she needs a black, a blue, a gray, and something else. She doesn't have any blue. Hmm. Let's see. So I'm just trying to think of what would her action be. Now, the interesting thing is, her next action could be build another temple. She could put it here. And then if she comes around to this space, both of these temples will score. And then if she gets around here, both of those temples will score. But she's running out of time. The game's almost half over. How much time is she going to have to get the, that, that, um... Let's see, now on the flip side, instead of doing another build, she could build over here. Yeah, I think so, because she needs to speed up the sun. Her bonus action is, she is going to take this black cube and build this building, which gives her three points, and sun goes one, two, three. So now the sun goes five. One, two, three, four. Right, and she didn't build this. She was just thinking about it. Right, so that's pretty cool. All right, so that was her bonus action. All right, and now it's me, my last turn of this round. Well, I'm definitely gonna take an orange because I'm only, but unfortunately, I can only get one of those. Do I wanna do another? Yeah, I'm gonna do another sun rotation, baby. No, but I haven't built a cool building yet. Oh, I need to build this building that makes my rotations worth double. Right, so, oh, oh this kind of sucks. If I take this, I'm not building towards anything. But I'll get the building I need so that I can get the double points off of every sun rotation. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, but like, I'm going to do it. All right. So I get rid of those. I get this building. Where is it? There it is. And it's two points. Gives me another sun or another mana gem. And now my rotations are worth 10 points. All right. So that was my last turn. Now, in a two-player game, or in a four-player game, at the end of every round, there are, everybody's taking forward tiles, so there's only two left and they get removed from the game. Now in a two player game, it happens every other round. So these two tiles that nobody took, I cry for them, because I really want them, they're both orange. They're gone. And now, um, and six more will come out. Do they come out immediately? Or do they come out at the end of the round? No, they come out at the end of the round. So, right, so now we move on to the buying. Jen gets first dibs. She, like I said earlier, she's gonna pay two, and she's gonna get this guy because this is the guy who could speed her up and make her tiles worth more. So she's gonna grab that guy. And now she hasn't activated either of these guys yet. All right, so it's cost her two. Now I've got three, I could afford one. And remember, it's a good thing I saved my two from last time because now I'm gonna spend all three and I'm gonna get the lady I wanted who is the speed boost lady. All right, there we go. Now it's Jen's turn again. She could buy another one. She's still got two. I don't have any more. And also I don't have enough cubes to activate. Can Jen activate this one right now? She got rid of her black. She's got the gray, so she can't actually activate this guy yet. Oh, that's heartbreaking. So she will not be able to get the, that speed. Currently, her speed's five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's not bad. Okay, but so is she gonna buy one more? Or is she gonna save these? Because she could buy later. But on the next round, at the end of the third round, I'll get first dibs on all these guys. So if Jen wants to buy one of those two, she should do it now. Now this guy, is not bad, because he's, he's, he's an easy 15 points if you get one of every color. Jen hasn't built a black yet, but if she just builds one black, she's got blue, brown, yeah, if she just builds one black, this guy is worth 15 points there. But even still, he's worth 12 points right now. But oh, if Jen builds more, this guy is worth six points. I don't know if Jen's gonna build very many more. Well, no, she should build more temples, because she has the temple cheap, and then this guy would be worth more too. But she's running out of time. Oh. You know, I think she's going to wait. She's going to pass. She's not going to buy anymore. She'll wait to see what it looks like at the end of the third round before she commits to anybody else. 
And in the meantime, it's her turn again. So can she activate either of these guys? This guy needs a blue, this guy needs a black. She cannot activate either of them right now. So she's gonna pass. I can't activate my new guy, so I'm gonna pass. We're done with that. And so now we move on, we clean up. Uh, first player turn marker goes. Oh wow, none of these got bought. Wow, that's crazy. So they all get removed. What an odd turn. I have to admit, I mean, we've, Jen and I played several times. We've never had a turn like this where I just kept doing rotations every time. Normally, more stuff is... Right, there we go. So there's all these new ones. And another black one. And the turn power markers. All right, and so now we gotta put out six new. Two, three, four, five, six. And now these are gonna be all the actions for the rest of the game. Yeah, they'll, they'll be used in rounds three and four. And I can see there's plenty of oranges, so I'm definitely gonna get to finish my orange thing, I think. Oh, there's a wild card on sun, that's nice for me. Wild card terrain building, another orange, another wild card, two, wow, okay, cool. So, we're now ready for the third round. I'm the first player, and I, I just think I can't turn down this uh, freebie sun movement. It's in, although, look, there's already enough oranges. I should put this on one of the other colors that I think I might be able to get a bonus out of. Now there's one, two, three, four reds, one, two, three, four, five blues. So I have a better chance of making the blues. Yeah, okay, so I'll make this a blue. But it counts as a sun action, but I'm considering this a blue. So my sun action is I get to move up to 10 spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Boom. Not only did I cross the line, so I got five plus five, I just made 10 points. It goes into my secret stash. But I ended up back here, so I get my cubes back. Isn't that nice? Lovely. Okay, so that was my first action. Jen's first action. All right. Oh, so she wants to do the sun as well. Now she has no colors to go for. Hmm. There's a lot of wild cards over here on land. She gets two points for every land she builds. But, hmm. Let's see. She knows she doesn't want me to get, there's a red as well. So I'm thinking also, she might want to build another building. No, 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 let's, let's, let's do land, let's do land, let's do land. Okay, so that's a blue. All right, so she's now committing to blue. There's a race to try and get a bonus out of blue. Either of us could get it, but we'll see how it goes with all these wild cards and other blues. So now Jen gets to build another land tile. Now, she, what was it that she needed? She, oh, wait a minute though. Hold on a second. If she does this building, she could get her bonus action right now. That's kind of hard to turn down. Plus, she'd be mitigating the chance of me being able to get a red bonus by taking one of the bonuses out. I think she will build a building instead. Okay. So, she gets to build a building. It could be another temple for only one cube, but instead, she's going to come over here. She needs a, gr a green, a gray, and something else. And that'd be the brown. So, she had everything she needed. And so now, her sun speed increases again. She gets another mana stone. And... Uh, she gets to immediately do a bonus action that she wants, whatever she wants right now, without taking a tile. Um, let's see here. So, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Hmm. Temple? Let's see. Her six. One, two, three, four, five, six. She can't quite make it all the way to the sweet spot. She can make it over here and activate this temple, though, and get two cubes back if she did a sun action. Now she's in red, so she's gonna to wanna to commit to red. Oh, but she, I mean, there's so many options. Oh, wow, it's just wide open. What is she gonna do? There's some, definitely some interesting, tough choices to be made in this game. See, she also knows that she's gonna need a black and a gray and a green and a blue and two others before the game is over, either at the end of the third or the fourth round to get these two guys activated. So she's gonna need more cubes. And she's gonna get them as she makes the sun go round. I think she will do a sun action. And she can go up to six. One, two, three, four. She'll stop at four, even though she could go up to six. And that means she gets a brown and a brown, and this temple fires. One, two, three, four points. She gets four more points to put into her secret pouch. Okay. That's going to be tough to do. I'll just put it under the secret pouch. Okay. There we go. So, that was Jen's bonus action. 
So her action was um, making a building and then she got a bonus action as well. Okay, back to me. For my second action, Okay, well I definitely, I think I want to keep pushing the blue. Plus if I get this blue, I'll, I'll get this orange revealed. So maybe I should build another building. What building do I want to build? I've got a, hmm. I'm not really excited about any of those buildings though that I could build with the black and the blue. This one lets me move infinitely, but I can move so, that, this would be crazy for me to take because it would undo all the work I've done on my speed. Um, this one lets me pile bonus cubes up, which is nice. Like if I did my whole circuit again, I'd be able to put a second blue and a second um, black on there. But yeah, with the, with the cubes I've got right now, I'm just not excited about building any more of these buildings. So I'd have to start getting some different, I'd have to build, I'd have to, I could grab land and build another thing. But if I put another land on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Currently I can do an entire circuit every time I do the sun and I get bonus points. If I put another land out here, Suddenly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It costs eleven or even twelve, thirteen. Because with this space, I could, I don't have to go in here. I could hop from this space to this space. So then I wouldn't be able to do full circuits every time if I build another land. So I've got this, this big problem. On the flip side, I could just keep doing sun, turn after turn after turn, and just keep scoring ten points. And that's pretty cool. But I wouldn't be getting anything extra with these cubes. Let's see, and I need a brown to be able to hire her. Oh, okay, I think I'm gonna have to build some more terrain. I think I'm just gonna have to, which means it's gonna slow down my, um, my orbit, but that's okay. So now what am I gonna build? Well, I know she needs a brown cube or else I'll never be able to activate her. So I'll go on ahead and take a brown space. And where will I put it? I guess I'll put it here because I'll also get another bonus. Well, okay, I could put it here and I'll get another cube or I could put it over here and I'll score four points at the end of the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's still eleven. Don't. No, I think I'll take another cube because I am going to need some more cubes. All right. So I'll grab that. And now, okay. So I got a brown cube, and I get to take another one that's not brown. See, I've got brown, blue. It could be. I've got the black for that. What else do I need? What other cubes do I need? Well, let's see. I still want to get her all the way up to fourteen. So are there any more speedies over here? This, no. This building, which needs a, a gray and a brown, and it makes temples worth more, but that's not that big a deal to me. Um, but I can also get more, I'll get one more speed off of her. Right, so I gotta do her to get up to 11. And 12, 13, so yes. Ah, oh, here's a problem. Since Jen got that one, I don't think I can make it to full speed anymore. Shoot. And none of these other guys that I could still hire give me a speed increase. So the only speed increase that is still available is this one, which requires a brown and a gray. So I guess I'll take a gray. There we go. Okay, cool. So that was my move. And now it is um, Jen's second move. Okay. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So she could finally get that sun space activated. That she's been waiting so long to do. So I think she is gonna take a sun. One, two, three, four. She could go up to six, but she's only going there. So that will get her another gray cube, and both of these temples will activate. This one will score her one, two, three, four, and this one will score her one, two, three, four. So she just made eight points. One, two, three. Okay. In the, in the pouch. All right, so that was Jen's move. Now it's my move. And she just grabbed that. I would have taken that if I could, because remember, I'm the king of, so if I want to get another blue, I got to take this one and I got to build a building. But remember, I was, I was planning on building a building, so I'll go ahead and take it. And so now I'm going to get a bonus action because I got all my blues. And uh, the building I'm going to build is this one, which takes a brown and a gray. I'll go ahead and use these. And that, the main thing it does is it increases my speed by one more which is two more points. And now I have enough speed to actually do a full circuit again. And if I have any temples, they score points, more points than normal, they score an extra three points. So maybe now it's not a bad time to actually get a temple out there because those temples will be worth more to me. If I put it in this spot, that temple will score me four plus seven. That's pretty cool. I think, I, I think uh, temples in my future. But first, I get to do a bonus action. This will be my second bonus action I've done in the game. Or my third, because I did that building. So my second bonus action. Hmm. Actually, I have to admit, I'm really tempted to build a temple here. 
Yeah, with that, let's go on ahead and, and spend. I'll spend this black cube to build a temple here. And so now, every time I activate this temple, it's worth five. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that was it. Um, now it is Jen's. That was Jen's second turn. Now it's Jen's second turn. Or no, it's her third turn. Right, yeah, third turn. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. So she wants reds and blues. There's a red on display. If she moves the sun, she gets to go six spaces. Two, three, four, five, six, and she could get more points. Although she'd only get one cube and she'd get four points if she does the sun right now. But she'd be getting another red and the reds are running out. So I don't think she wants to miss out on getting another red bonus. So she'll grab that. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hold on a second because maybe... Oh no, yeah, she definitely will because otherwise I'll take it because I want that red. She knows I love doing the sun. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now she could have jumped over to here but it makes no sense. She'll do his. That's four more points into the pouch. Let's get rid of a one. And she makes herself another green cube. And this bonus point thing does nothing because it's just four points at the end of the game. All right, now it's uh, my next turn. And this is my fourth turn, I think. Um, let's see, so if I go and then then goes, there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yes, yeah. So this is my last turn of the round now. And unfortunately, I cannot get another bonus out of it. I would like to take one of those oranges because I'm getting closer, but do I need another building? No, I don't. And Jen just took the red sun that I wanted. So if I take a blue sun, that's not going to get me any more bonuses. There are no more. Well, no, it's possible. I could blue and then these is blue too. But it's all about the sun for me, baby. Let's in for a penny, in for a pound. So blue, and I can move up to 11 spaces. How far do I want to go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'll only go eight. So that means I scored 10 points for rounding. And... Since I just landed 8, 9, 10, 11. No, I can't quite make it, so I'll stop there. Although, unfortunately, I don't get either of these, but I do get 4 plus 3. I get 7 more points. So my sun engine is definitely paying off. And that was my last move, and now this is Jen's last move of the turn. I think she'll go ahead and grab one of these so she can start working towards getting another bonus. All right, and so she's building another tile, and I believe the tile she will build will be this bad boy. Four points for every temple that's next to it. That's eight points right there. And if she builds another temple, say, over here, and then finally gets the sun over here, she'll get a lot more points off of those temples. Okay. So that was Jen's last move. Right. And so we are done. And now we move on to the um, recruiting people. I have no stone, so I can't recruit anybody. I didn't really think this through very well. But I'm just focusing on the sun so much. And also, I only have two cubes, so I can't activate my guy. I need one more cube. Oh. Shoot, that was, oh well. So, okay, I can't do anything because I was just too short-sighted. Um, but anyway, so Jen's turn. She, she has two, so she could hire somebody else. She can't hire the big guy. This guy is great because he turns every leftover cube you've got into two points. Does she want to get one of the other ones? She has not built on any of the four spots, so he's not particularly exciting. I think she will take this guy, though, because it's, it's an easy 15 points. Provided she just builds one black tile. Oh, wait, oh, no, no. But was she going to go, well, this one, I don't know if she's going to get enough temples to make that worth more than this. So she'll go for that guy. And that cost her two. And I'm passing. And now, is she going to activate one? Because um, if she activates this one, she'll get another cube. If she activates this one, she'll get another um, sun token. And she could buy another guy. <sighs> Let's see. But she needs black. She doesn't have her black. This one she could activate right now with a gray, a green, and a brown. So she'll activate him, bloop, and she gets a cube of any color that she wants. I think she'll take a black, because she's going to need a black to activate this guy, and she doesn't have any place to generate black, and she'll put it right there. She can put it on any of her spots. Okay, so now one of her three guys is activated, and now it's my turn again. I've already passed. It's her turn again. She's got two cubes. She cannot get this guy done. Oh, she needs a black and a blue. She's going to have to find a blue somewhere to get that guy activated. Okay, but anyway, so that was that. And um, so she's passing now as well. And now, um, again, this is really weird, folks. This normally does not happen that we uh, go so long without buying land. But I'm just trying out some different strategies in this game, really, just for fun. All right, and a brown. And this went away. And the new one is a green. Turn our changes, and we are now moving on to the last round, the fourth and final round. Um, so it's it's coming down to the wire, and it's Jen's turn. She gets to go first, 
If she could just get, oh, look at this. She can get herself another bonus action. Boom. She's got to do it. She's got to take it because um, it's just sitting there. So she'll take that and she has to build another tile. Well, she doesn't have to, but she will. This will be her third bonus action. Oh, wait, no. First of all, she builds and then she gets a bonus action. So what is she going to build first? I think she wants to build more special point scoring ones because this guy is five points for every point scoring one she does. But she knows she needs a blue. So maybe she should take a blue, the last blue, the last blue. If she takes this, she'll have the blue she needs to activate that guy. Hmm, where's she gonna put it? Oh, and if she puts it here, or, yeah, if she puts it here, then she can get another cube. Yeah, she's gonna do that. She's gonna take that, she's gonna get a blue, and she gets another cube on that spot. Now, what does she need? She needs blue, she needs a green, so she'll take a green. There she goes. So she's got her blue and her green, she's got her black. She still needs a gray, and then like two browns, and she'll have everything she needs to activate all her guys. Okay, so that was her regular action, and now she gets a free bonus action for having four of a kind in red. Okay. Uh, she wanna do sun. Well, let's see. Now, is she gonna be able to pull off a last bonus action? It's impossible. There's only a blue and a wild card, so she cannot get another bonus action off of this. She could if she did nothing but oranges, but what are the chances she, I, I, I'm not gonna take some of those oranges, particularly because she knows I'm gonna take those oranges. So her chances of bonus actions for this last round are over. She's, I'm gonna get one more. Obviously, I'm gonna get one for this orange. Jen's gotta make sure I don't get another one off of this uh, red, because it would be possible to get one off of the red. So I think Jen's gonna wanna ensure she gets at least one of these two red tiles. Could she? No, there's no way she could get all four of those oranges and stop me from getting orange. So, so she knows she's gonna build, she knows she's gonna do a sun, or she's gonna try to do those. So what is she gonna do right now as her free action? Hmm. Um, let's see. Well, she could build another tile, get the last cube she needs, and then she'd get four points off of this space. Or, oh, look at this. She could build the other temple tile and put it here. And now this is worth eight points. These two temples are worth um, 16 points just because of their existence. That's really sexy. And she could still activate, if she gets um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, she could still activate this temple and get some more points out of it as well. She's, got, she's gonna do it, what the heck? It's a bit crazy. I'm, I'm not really thinking this through. She might have had a better choice, but she went ahead and went with that. So that was her first action of this round. And, um, okay, so now it's my turn. I need to grab some more oranges. Should I do the sun? All right, so I'm moving 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'd get another 10 points, but I wouldn't get the points off of this. So, but if I go here, ah, but this gray, if I go here, I really should use this gray first. Now, what do I need to build with a gray and a blue? I think I've already looked over here and there's nothing particularly exciting for me to build anymore. So I could just go really short. No, but I do want to get those points. I will take the sun. One, two, three, and I'll just go this far. So I get another brown, which I'm not particularly excited about, but maybe it'll help me. Because remember, I need a brown, a blue, Oh, yeah, and I got my brown, my blue. Okay, so I've got everything I need to activate that character. And I get four, five, six, seven points because of my temple bonus. Okay, there we go. And so, and I'm almost to an orange. Now, and there's no help. Even if Jen took one of those oranges, they're still an orange for me, so Jen can't block me. What else is she gonna do? <clears throat> Alrighty, so. Well, she's got to think about what she wants to accomplish before the game is over. She knows, right, she's, I just keep forgetting. Okay, she's got the green and the blue. She's got the black. Okay, she needs a gray. She still needs a gray, and she needs one other cube to get her last two guys activated. Now, um, just activating the sun, one, two, three, four, five, how far could she, oh, she only goes, if she could go seven, she could activate this temple. She needs seven. How could she get another speed? She could build this building, and that would give her two more speed and a point, but that's not particularly good. Unfortunately, if she'd only built this guy sooner or activated this guy sooner, she'd have the speed she needs to get into that spot. Or does she just want to build more big endpoints? Like she builds this. This is two points. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus four. This is 12 points if she builds that and slaps it right there. That's a pretty big deal. That's 12 points for one build. 
and it doesn't even take anything. But she's still not getting the cube she needs. She knows she needs to. Get, I guess maybe that's what it's going to be for the rest of this for the rest of this go round for Jen. Is let's see how far does she go? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. <sighs> You know what, actually, my, my battery's starting to get dead. I think I'm gonna stop right there. You guys are getting the idea. At the end of the game, you know, after we do just a few more turns, we get points for every building we've built. We get points for every one of these guys we've been able to activate. We get points for every one of these we have left over. And um, that's it. So we, we tally up we, all the points we've been scoring throughout the game. What have I got right now? I've got 10, uh, 15, I've got 16 that I've been scoring throughout the game. Jen's got, oh dear. All right, I mean, I'm sorry, I, you know, I've got, Wow, all this stuff I've been doing with my son is 30, 35. I've got 39 to Jen's 16. But Jen's got a lot more points on this board, where I've got no points on this board. Uh, you know, pretty much I've got nothing at all. Whereas I'm, all my points are going to come at the end. Whereas, or all, all Jen's points are going to come at the end. Plus, I think I've got two, or Jen's got four, uh, six, nine. I've got four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're about the same. But it's really come down to, I've got a lot of points from rotating. Jen's getting a lot of points by doing these action tiles. You know, I might want to grab some of these tiles too, because they're good for me as well. Um, you know, I mean, this one, if I put this in a spot, this is worth two, three, uh, two, four, five. This is worth 12 points to me if I build it right there. It's, you know, that's equally valuable. That just works for anybody. Which is why it probably makes sense for Jen to go on ahead and do it before I do. Boom, 12 points, just like that. And then that would leave me doing what? Oh, well, obviously I'd be building a building. Although that's a problem. Building a building to get my bonus point, but I don't need to build any building. So I don't think I'd be taking that. I'd be taking this to build a tile instead so I get my bonus. Jen just took that one, but you know what? I'll take the other one and I'll get 12 points the exact same way. And then, boom, I'd get my third bonus action. And what would my third bonus action be? Um, uh, and you know, maybe it's just the sun again. Because I'd get to do a, another big, I'd get another 10 points for coming around here. If I land here, I'd get another 7, so that's another 17 points if I just do the sun again. That's kind of hard to say no to. I know I said I was going to stop, and yet I keep going. What's up with me? So that's another 17 points. Nice. And then it's um, Jen's turn again. And let's see. Now she still needs to build because she needs more cubes to get these guys activated. I need to worry about... Let's see, now I've got my cubes to activate that guy, but you know, I, I should be thinking, do I want to try and hire another one? This guy's no good to me, this guy's no good to me. Actually, none of them are particularly interesting to me, so I think for me it's just going to be continuing to circle and score more points as I round and race and just try to make sure I can activate that guy. Um, whereas Jen, she needs, and you know, these guys could still be useful to her. Um, well, particularly this guy, because this guy's worth um, six points, nine if she can get another temple out. Or maybe she just wants to keep doing the sun as well. There's only one more sun tile left. In fact, it's kind of a no-brainer. Jen's going to take this last sun tile, which prevents me from ever doing the sun again. There is no more sun. So Jen gets to go one, two, three, four, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, she just didn't quite make it to that temple. That sucks. She made it over there, and she got a brown. Which, remember, she needed, so she had enough cubes to do all that. But more importantly, she prevented me from doing another sun action and scoring another 17 points. Or, you know, all right, and so that's my turn. Um, this is my next to my last turn. Oh my goodness. And I still want to get... Can I get another bonus? There's three oranges. No, I cannot get another bonus. There's no, yep, so I cannot get another bonus. So I don't have to think about that anymore. I just have to think about what's the best move for me. I don't want to build, so I guess I'll do one of these. Because I just don't have any good buildings to build that really help me that much. Um, so... What am I going to do? Probably another point scoring one. This is two points for every cube it's next to. But I'm going to use my cubes to activate this guy. This is, oh, a peninsula. Okay, I'll just build this one. And, it's a, and that's five points out here on this little peninsula. All right. So now it's Jen's, um, this is Jen's last turn. Oh, what the heck? Okay, let's finish it. I didn't think I was going to. Well, let's finish it. What's Jen's last turn going to be? Well, it's going to be building. She has no choice. There's literally nothing else she can do. So what is she going to build? It's going to be something that gets her the cubes she needs. Right, and I'm sorry, I keep having to keep figuring this out. There's a green, blue, there's a black. Oh, she needs a gray. She has no gray. So she's going to build this gray someplace. And I guess, she, oh shoot, she wanted to build a black as well so that she could get um, three more points. But too late, she's run out of time. Oh, no, 
Yes. Yes, look at this. Instead of building the gray, she'll build the black. She'll put it here. Oh, but that hurts her. Ah, oh, this hurts her peninsula. I, I totally missed that. Oh, well, say la vie. She'll build this. Well, actually, this is hurting her peninsula again, but it's letting her get an extra cube. So that was um, three points for getting a, a black thing out, plus she's got the cube she needs. Did she need that black cube? She didn't need that black cube, though. I wonder if it is better off leaving that alone, giving up the three points for that black tile, because this will get her another... Well, it's only one point. She's losing one point by taking that space. So she's netting two points for the black tile, as opposed to putting a gray over here, say where she could just get four points. I think she'll just go with that, plus she'll keep. So that's netting five, all right, so cool. So that was Jen's last move, and now my last move. I have no choice, I have to build. And I have not really set myself up to build very well, have I? No, I have not, no, I have not, no, I have not. What am I gonna build, what am I gonna build? Um, shoot, I need all three of these tiles to activate her. So I can't build anything. Well, let's see, well, let's look. Is there anything that would um, allow me to get it? No, there's not. So if I, if I build anything, I will not be able to activate her and I won't get the big points for my race. So I'm, I took this tile and I'm gonna pass. I'm literally not gonna do it. And that was it. These last two actions weren't done. And um, now we go on to the buying. I don't think either of us is gonna buy because Jen needs to activate him and him. So that she doesn't have any cubes to activate anybody else. I don't have any, so we're both gonna, but I'm gonna go ahead and activate. So we're just gonna go ahead and activate our last ones. We didn't buy any of these three. And now we go to final score. Right, so activating that increased my speed by one. Activating that increased Jen's speed by two. It gave her another mana stone. Activating this didn't really give her anything in the immediates. And, right, so that's it. Final score, let's go. Um, right, so I get five points for that, um, for this peninsula one. And I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I get 12 points for that guy. Okay, so that's it for me on the board. Jen, she's got a lot on the board. One, two, three, four for that guy. Take five, take away four. This guy is um, eight, this guy is eight. So that's 16 for those two guys. This guy is 12, just like mine was. Uh, Jen did not get enough um, temples out. Shoot, all right, so that's it for on the board. Let's see, so that's our board stuff. Our two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine for Jen on the um, for those buildings. And I've got two, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I get ten over there. Okay. And right, then the um, bonuses. That's 12 points flat score for this dude. And now this guy is two times my speed, 12. So that's 24 points. All right, and Jen, she's got three. This guy, unfortunately, she didn't get a black tile built, so she only gets 12 points off of him instead of um, 15, like she could have. All right, this guy, five points for every special. One, two, three, four, that's 20 points off of that guy. And this guy, two points off of every tile. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's 24 points for that guy. Um, so here is... 25 minus one. And, oh, and then Jen also gets two points for having two mana stones left over. All right, and so that's that, folks. Final score time. And again, obviously I'm going very rough and ready. We'll see how it goes. So uh, I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 100, 110, um, 100, 119 points, 119 versus Jen's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 110, 115. I think that's 115 to 119, a very, very close game. I think you can agree. And um, so clearly radically different um, strategies were pursued. I won by just four points, if I remember correctly. And I think with that, I'm gonna stop and go to final thoughts in five, four, three, two, one.